what's up everyone this is Julius again from Ojas web digital solution in this video I'm gonna explain the major reasons why keywords with low search volume are mostly expensive in Google AdWords this is gonna be very interesting because I'm gonna use some hypothetical data to explain this and to tell you how much you've been charged per click and why you likely having high cost per click for your every click you get from your advert so I'm not gonna waste your time I'm gonna go straight and explain this with some data I have on my board so the first thing you notice is I have keyword and the keyword I'm gonna use for this particular video is cheap web design and I have two search volume this is an hypothetical data so I have two search volume I have low search volume which is about 250 average month average monthly search and that is gonna be about eight searches per day and I also have high search volume which is about 12,000 average monthly search and that is going to be about 400 searches per day so this same keyword they have two different search volume so i want to see why it's possible for me to get high cost per click for the low search volume and low cost per click for the high search volume and i'm going to tell you how these things exactly how it works using the google adwords ad auction now let's say we have five advertisers bidding for this keyword cheap web design in that particular location you wanted to advertise so let's say we have five advertisers who also want to advertise they want to target people who are searching for this keyword cheap web design now these are the advertisers we have advertiser one two three four five all of them want to advertise and they want to target people who are searching for cheap website design now the first advertiser bid five dollar which is the maximum amount he's willing to pay for every click he gets from this keyword and the second advertiser bid two dollars the third advertiser bid four dollar the fourth advertiser bid one dollar and the fifth advertiser bid five and three dollars now those are the bids. You don't know about this advertiser, you only know about yourself. Probably you are the one of the advertiser and you know what you're bidding for. Now, for you to enter into the auction, there are a lot of things Google takes into consideration. And now, let's assume Google is taking the quality scores as the major determinant of the advertiser who's going to win the auction. Now, these are the quality scores for this advertiser and the first advertiser has a quality score of 5. The second advertiser has quality scores of 8. The third advertiser has quality score which is 6. The fourth one has 6 as well. And the fifth one has quality score which is 9. Now, all of these advertisers enter into the ad auction. Now, we've seen the bid, we've seen the quality score, and all of them, we've seen the keywords they're trying to target. And we know the location, they are targeting a particular location. So, all of them enter into the ad auction then it is left for Google now to determine which advertiser is going to appear at the very top of the search result and which is going to appear at the bottom of the search result. So they take into, the, into consideration several factors, bids, quality scores and so on like that. And now we assuming Google is taking the quality scores as the major determinant of the advertiser who is going to win the auction, who is going to appear at the very top. Now we look at it this way then we notice that the advertiser in number uh, the, the advertiser number five has a quality score of nine and they have a bid of three dollars per click which is the maximum amount they're willing to pay for every click they get from the advert and now they have the quality scores of nine and since we say google is taking quality score as a major determinant of the this advertiser who is going to win the auction now advertiser number five who has the quality scores of nine is going to appear at the first page on the search result now they win the auction now the second advertiser who's likely to be behind advertiser number five whose quality score is nine is the advertiser number two because their quality score is eight now this the third one is going to be advertiser number three now take a look at this Advertiser number three has quality score of six and advertiser number four also has quality score of six However, advertiser number three win the auction. It appears in the third position. And why is that happen? Because 
the two advertisers has different bids. Advertiser number three is willing to pay as much as four dollars for every click. Advertiser number four is willing to pay maximums of one dollar. Now, despite the fact that both of them have the same quality score, advertiser number three, who is willing to pay higher, will win the option. Now they have to uh, they will definitely appear in number three position and the advertiser number four will appear in number four position and the last on the list is advertiser number one who has a quality score of four they are going to appear in the fifth position despite the fact they are willing to pay five dollars their quality score is very low they are going to appear in the fifth position now that you see which advertiser is appearing at the very top and which one is appearing at the bottom of the search result now we see we're now going to look at the actual cost per click the actual amount google will charge them for every click they get from the advert now the advertiser number one who the advertiser number five who is willing to pay maximum of thirty dollars is not going to pay thirty dollars because they win the auction is going to pay the minimum amount he needs in order to maintain that position and that is the minimum amount he needs to be ahead of the advertiser below him now we're going to start from the bottom because advertiser number five is the last on the bottom is the last and there's no other advertiser below him so he's likely going to pay as high as the amount he willing to he is bidding for which is five dollar advertiser number one is likely to pay as high as five dollars because it has a very low quality score and is willing to pay as much as five dollars so that is the amount we're going to have there because the quality score is not high and is willing to pay high definitely it's possible for him to be charged five dollars per click now advertiser number four is willing to pay one dollar maximum and is having quality score of six now is it going to pay higher than one dollar no it's not going to pay higher than one dollar despite the fact that advertiser number five is paying up to five dollars now advertiser number four is going to pay maximum of one dollar now the advertiser number three who is bidding for four dollars is not going to pay four dollars it's going to pay the maximum amount he needs in order to maintain the number three position and that is the minimum amount that he needs in order to be ahead of advertiser number four and the minimum in this case is 1.01 dollar which is the amount he needs to be ahead of one dollar and that is the actual amount he will be paid he will, he will have to be charged for every click he gets from the advert so the same thing advertiser number two is going to pay maximum of 1.02 and the advertiser number five which maintain the number one position is going to pay maximum of 1.03 now you see the position i put it there the advertiser who is going to be in number one position is number five and so on like that now you ask why would this one make advert or keyword with low size volume very expensive so i highlighted the eight per day and the 400 per day and those are the major factors that is what is going to determine why this keyword will be very expensive or not now we have five advertisers and we have uh, we, we have the ad position, they win the auction, we have the advertiser, we have the keyword. And now the low search volume has average 8 clicks per day. Now, even if advertiser number 5 takes the number 1 position, it is likely they are not going to get all the 8 clicks per day. Now, if they get, they are getting about 4 or 5 clicks per day, or maybe they are even getting 8 clicks per day. Advertiser number 2 to 5, they are not getting anything, we assume. Now, if advertiser number two to five is not getting anything, and let's say advertiser number three, who has quality score of six, go ahead and improve the quality of their advert, and now the advert becomes number uh, the, the, the quality score of the ad now rise to nine. Now the auction will start again, and they are likely to be in the first position. Now they have the maximum cost per click bids as four. And now they improve their quality score and the quality score is now and they now rise from being the number three in ad position to number one then the actual cost per click will change immediately because they are willing to pay as high as four and the cost per click uh, the, the this quality score of their ad is also increased then the auction will change and you see immediately other advertisers bid will also adjust and you see the change in your 
dashboard and you notice your average CPC is high. And what is the major determinant of this is because the average monthly size, daily charge is very low. This advertiser is maintaining the number three position, but since the number one is getting all the clicks, only eight clicks per day, the others are not getting. They will work hard to make sure they are getting some of the clicks. And if they are, as much as they are working hard, they are improving the quality of their ads, it's going to affect other advertisers and it's going to come back to the bid. They will definitely be increasing their bid. Advertiser number five, who is not getting uh, number three, uh, number three, four, and five, who is not getting anything, they will go ahead and improve their ad quality and also increase their bid because they too want to get some clicks, they want to get some customers, and as much as they're doing that, the CPC, the actual CPC will be going higher. Now, let's look at the keywords with very high search volume. Now, average monthly search is 12,000 then daily search is about 400 now we have five advertisers bidding for this keyword and we have about 400 daily searches now if advertiser number one get about 20 out of the 400 search it gets about 20 clicks advertiser number two get about maybe eight clicks and up to five it gets about five clicks now you notice these people will not be much bothered because they are getting clicks and if the clicks are converting to customers none of them will increase their bids in fact advertiser number one who advertiser number five who maintain number one position who is getting 20 clicks per day will likely reduce his cost per click because if he's getting 20 clicks and maybe he's converting about four or, or two to five of the clicks is converting them to customers he will be satisfied then he will go ahead instead of paying as high as $3 a bid, say, it will reduce the bid to about $1. And as much as, as long as it's reducing the bid and the quality score of his ad is still very high, it's going to be paying lesser for every clicks he get. Now, the reason is because the average daily search is very high and is able to get about 20 clicks per day and is able to get some customers. So it will be happy to reduce the bid and to maintain the same position as much as it's reducing the bid others advertiser will also be working on their own and they are not going to pay a lot of money for every click they get because the search volume is high everyone is getting clicks they're getting customer and they are happy however for the low search volume only one of them is getting clicks the others are also working they will be worried to do something about their advert they want to get a click and no matter how much they try since the daily search search volume is eight they can't get more than eight clicks so everyone will compete to get among the eight clicks and that is going to result in increasing bids increasing competition that is going to make the other advert for low search volume very expensive so that is the major reason why keyword with low search volume is likely to be much expensive and you're likely going to be getting high cost per click for every clicks you get from those search keywords i believe this addresses some major issues in google adware now if you have some questions you would like to ask about this feel free to ask me i'll do my best to answer every single question professionally thanks again for watching the video bye for now